Okay, you guys, it feels kind of weird to be back in front of the camera or just like talking to a camera because I I was away at Cali I was away at California like a week ago today. I went to California and stayed there for four days and then came back this past Wednesday. I am still worn out from that trip, I tell you, and it's amazing how tired you can get sitting all day on a plane and changing planes at the airport and waiting and waiting and waiting. Anyway, whatever. I decided it was time to get back to filming some stuff and I'm a little bit brain tired. I got my coffee here, which I de definitely need. It's not even that late right now, you guys, but I'm so tired. It's crazy. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was trying to pick out some stuff that I wanted to watch and I don't feel mentally sharp enough right now to uh, do something that's going to involve a lot of, you know, thinking and commentary and stuff like that. So I'm thinking maybe if I sort of ease my way into this with some things that are lighthearted, will make me laugh, kind of maybe wake me up. And I decided to start with this one, which was recommended to me. It's called Arnold Works at Gold's. It's where he dresses up like he's, um, like a trainer or a manager of Gold's Gym or something. This was recommended to me on one of my other Arnold reaction videos. And I, I, I want to say, I believe I have seen this before, but it's been years. I'm pretty sure. The reason I think I've seen this before is because I recognize his little disguise, unless he's done it in another video I've seen. But, um, Anyway, one of the reasons also that I wanted to check it out, not counting the fact that I just, you know, love all things Arnold pretty much, is because in a week, a, well, a little bit more than a week, like maybe, maybe just shy of a week and a half on May 31st, this is tentative right now, we're planning to, uh, my friend Derek and I are planning to have a live stream discussion about Arnold, I guess his his life, his, his career, his journey, just the d different stuff ab about him. I don't know that we'll focus only on movies, but that's probably going to be a pretty large part of it. I expect, I guess we'll just maybe kind of see how the discussion goes along anyway. So to kind of get myself in the mood for that, I I've started listening to his, to his uh, biography. I've got it on my phone. I got it from audible a while back but I just never started it. It's, it's long. It's well over 20 hours long, I believe. And he only narrates a portion of it. I believe Stephen Lang narrates the bulk of it, um, which is, un it's unfortunate. I would have preferred to hear Arnold. It's going to kind of be hard to get into the groove of that book when it's somebody else reading his story and it's not his voice, but whatever. All of that is just to say, and here I am getting the camera again, my chair. All of that is just to say that that's one of the reasons, that th those are the reasons why I have decided to start with this particular video. It's not very long, only about two and a half minutes. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I think it'd be fun to be surprised by Arnold one day or him pretending to be somebody else. I would totally know who he is though. He wouldn't be able to fool me. Oh, speaking of Venice, I heard Venice Beach is awful now. Um, my brother had got me some shirts. I think it says Venice Beach. I've worn them before in some of my uh, videos, and it's a picture of Arnold, you know, bodybuilding. I've got a, like three of those shirts. And he said he went there a while back, one of the last times he went to California. He talked about how terrible it is. That's just a shame, you know, that it's gone downhill like that. Okay. That was a tangent, but seeing that this was Venice reminded me of that. How's it going? How many miles are you running? Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> I do think this is the one I saw. Well, basically, I'm going to play Howard. He can't go undercover. A physical fitness instructor who no. has become a regional manager oh, for gosh. Gold's Gym. I'm Howard Kleiner. I'm here to help you. <laughs> and we are doing all of this crazy stuff <laughs> to raise some money for something kind of serious, which is after school programs. See you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Keep that up. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? 
Good, thank you. All right, can I help you? I forgot my key card. What does a key card mean? You look like you're sweating a little bit. Let I me mean, just take care of everything. Here, I have a towel. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. Drinking a lot of water? That's good. Oh, Remember, 75% of the body is water. Keep drinking. Okay, we haven't finished yet with the water drinking. When it burns, it grows. Remember that. Maybe you saw me on the FBI most wanted list. <laughs> you look pretty pumped up. Remember, we do everything in reps. So you've done two reps of water drinking. Oh Usually my! We do ten reps of everything. So do another rep of oh water drinking. Oh my goodness! This guy. Down a little further. <laughs> you have elbows and you have knees. So touch them. I, I, Very nice. Stand up straight. Okay. So I thought I had seen this, but. Some of this stuff looks new to me. So I recognize the girl at the very beginning when, when he was talking to her and she took out her earbuds and she saw his face. But some of this other stuff is not ringing a bell. So I'm wondering if maybe what I saw before was just a compilation of him dressed up dis, uh, in disguise or, or startling people because maybe this is not the only time he's dressed up in this. What was this character's name? Howard? Whatever he called him. Okay. Very good. Rep number seven. Oh my Stop goodness. Being a baby. This is Gord's gym. This is not a baby gym. And ten. <laughs> Very good. You did it. Give me five. Seven. Jesus. Ow. Why you hit so hard? I see some big guns back there. I had. Look at this. Come on now. Let's, 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 let's see the guns. You just remember, pull. You really pull. I love what I see and I see what I love. Don't laugh. This is a serious business uh, the food supplements the psychology the mind the body what's the most important thing in on, the weight training that's right, baby. yeah how it is my name there you have it that's the uh, face that i like yeah. wow he looks so good look at the people Aww. so handsome okay arnold <laughs> way to be humble <laughs> that's funny oh yeah see if there's anything else okay hold on. and now flex just joking. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> it was funny because some of the people I couldn't quite tell if they really thought he if they if they really thought he was who he said he was, like this guy named Howard. The girl at the water fountain, she was being very serious about doing those water reps, wasn't she? Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Oh, man. Um, when did he do this? I I'm going to check and see when this video came out. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's been a good long while. This is dated 2014, but I can't remember if it said January, June, or July. Whatever. It was um, something with a J, I think. It's been a good long while. So, seven years ago, this was, this was done. I feel like I want to scour his channel or scour YouTube to see if he has dressed up in this disguise before. I have seen other things where he dresses up as um, the Terminator, like he's pretending to be a wax figure or something like that. And then when people come up to him, he moves and it scares the living crap out of them. That would be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? I mean, my goodness. I... Someone, <clears throat> I don't remember if I've mentioned it on this channel or not, but it was on Twitter a, a week plus ago. Maybe two, I can't remember. It's been a little while, but not terribly long ago. And I think it was the TubeBuddy channel or the VidIQ channel. I think maybe TubeBuddy. And, and they were asking if you could collaborate with any YouTuber... Who would it be? And my first instinct was to say, well, the critical drinker, but I've already sort of kind of done that because he was gracious enough to come on my channel and do an interview with me. And that was a lot of fun. He and I think a lot alike. I think it'd be really cool to do some sort of movie discussion with him. That would be fun, but I've sort of already collabed with him in a sense. So then I was like, no, you know what? The YouTuber that I would absolutely love to collab with would be Arnold. And I call him a YouTuber because he has a channel. This is directly on his channel. 
He's a content creator and he puts up different videos. So I classify him as a YouTuber. And that would be really cool to do some sort of collab with him. It'd be really cool to meet him. I'm sure a lot of his fans, a lot of people who, who, who like him feel the same way. I am no exception. I have always thought it would be really cool to meet him. He came to my brother's school once years ago when my brother was like a kindergartner. They were kindergartner. He was in, well, maybe not a kindergarten. He was in elementary school. I think it was elementary. Well, maybe it was middle school. Shoot. I can't remember. Correct me, Matt. What was it? Middle school or elementary? And he didn't really, I think he was just kind of like, meh about it because I don't know if he even knew who he was or even cared at that point. But he was saying how there were all these kids around him and everything. So he couldn't go up and say to him. But then he said that a year or so ago, a couple of years ago, he went to some sort of bodybuilding thing. Was it in Ohio or someplace? And he saw, he saw Arnold. I can't remember if he said he saw Lou Ferrigno. But I think maybe he also saw... No, maybe that wasn't where he saw Sylvester Stallone. He'd seen Sylvester Stallone when he was an extra on, um, a background extra on the first Creed movie. Anyway, he saw Arnold and he was talking about how, you know, Arnold, he, he well, he's not as tall as he was. He, I mean, not that he was super, super tall. He's about six or six one. And I mean, that's not short, but it's not like, you know, huge but anyway he as most people do when they get older he's he's shrunk some and you know his skin he hasn't taken care of his skin his skin is quite you know ragged from the sun and everything and he was saying how he saw him kind of up close I guess he passed by him or whatever and he could see you know like what happens with your skin with the age spots and everything and it's just kind of it's kind of sad to see Someone who was just like had reached such great heights and just what age does to people. It's so freaking depressing because, you know, it's just closer and closer to the time that like, like they have less time left than, you know, obviously the years they've lived before. And it's just, it's just so morbid. See, and I wanted to watch something that was going to make me laugh. And here I am getting into this very depressing subject matter. I mean, it's, it's a part of life, but that doesn't mean it's a part of life that you have to appreciate or enjoy. Anyway, this was fun and I'll have to check out some other stuff to see if he's got other things where he has disguised himself like this. I'm, I'm sure there's some other fun stuff, maybe on his channel. But other than that rambling, I just completed with a very morbid, depressing end to it. I don't have anything else to add to this. So I think I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, start my coffee before it gets too cold and figure out what else I want to watch. Okay, you guys, that's it for now. Adios. <laughs>